Let's look at how we can calculate the standard deviation from a data file. So here we have data on how much people like Justin Bieber. We asked uh, 25 people who we've given the ID 1 through 25 how much they like Justin Bieber, and they've answered on a Likert or Likert scale, going from 1, I detest him, to 5, I adore him. Now we've already calculated the average or the mean, and we know that the mean score is 2.52. But the standard deviation tells us how much variation is there around the mean. Is everybody pretty close to the mean, or is it more spread out? The more spread out the scores, the bigger the standard deviation. So we're going to calculate the standard deviation here using Excel 2016 for Mac. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label, put a label over here, and I'm going to call it just standard deviation there. I'll use a little abbreviation. I'm going to press tab to go over to the next uh, cell. And in this cell, I'm going to put an Excel command. So I type equals stdev. Now, there's a bunch of standard deviation functions in Excel. Generally, you want the, what use, they call it a compatibility function. It's the STDEV. That's the one that, that works most of the time, especially in statistics classes. There, you're going from a sample, and you're going to estimate what the population is. And that's what we usually do in statistics. We get a sample of 25 students. We want to know what all students think. So we're going from a sample to a population. So we can use the stdev command, or we could use the stdev.s command. They're exactly the same. I'm just going to use the stdev command. And then I type an open parentheses, and I'm going to put in the list of numbers. So I click at the on the first one in the list, and you see how there's handles, there's little squares there. I'm going to grab one of those and drag one of those bottom handles down, and that says, look, I'm calculating the standard deviation from C4 to C28. I need to put the close parentheses, so I press close parentheses, and then I type enter, and we get a standard deviation of 1.1 uh, 1.417745, which is really ugly. So let's round that off. So I've highlighted that number. I'm in home. I go over to this number section and I'm going to choose number and that will round it to two decimal places. And now that's a lot more clear. The standard deviation is 1.42. What does that mean? That means that most scores are within 1.42 points of the mean. So if the mean's two and a half, that means that most scores are between 1.1 and 3.9. And almost all scores would be within two standard deviations of the mean. And if you look at the data, yeah, that's definitely the case, um, especially since you can't get, there's, there's not too many fives, so two standard deviations away, uh, you know, it looks like almost it looks like all the scores are within two standard deviations in this case. All right, so that's how you calculate the standard deviation with Excel 2016 for Mac.